Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Chimo here. Well, there's a little reason why I haven't been on in a while. Oh, well, so, since I'm here, might as well grab that little bit of a boost. Um, I've been doing a little bit of experimenting since uh, we got our space station and we're getting it close to seeing if it's going to actually move or did we just spend all those resources for nothing. But we're about to go up there and find out. I did close everything off on it. I got the last engine on and we're about to find out, which I already figure I know what's going to happen. Um, I've been doing some experiments and talking with some people on Discord and I spent about 12 hours on and off uh, the game in experimental mode. This is in regular mode. What the heck did I just hit? Did I hit our space station? I sure did. Oh, slow thing down. Slow down, slow down. Come on. We really cock sideways on that one. Okay. Where's, where is the space station? Wow, that's the first time we hit the space station coming up here. Oh, there you can get a good look at it. That is the space station. Actually, am I stopped? Might as well get out right here. Okay, come on, get out. We're a little distance away, It'll give you a better look at it. I did put the other motor on, I got all the caps on. Give you a quick little tour. I left the uh, other biodomes on there, figured it ain't gonna hurt. And yeah, actually I didn't have to make any more glass. I had more than enough glass to cap everything off. Actually, if we would have left the uh, design the way it was, I probably would have ran out of glass. But as you can see, she is looking good. I did add a couple more airlocks to it. You know, we had the airlock here and the one on the other side. And what I did, the habitats here, oh, and I put a habitat here. I did figure out how to trick the hubs to where I can put another habitat here. That is my quarters. And, of course, we got Johnny's. And oh, we got Johnny's. We got Kivan. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I'm sorry. And then we got uh, Guardsman, a uh, new guy to ask me uh, to go ahead and add him into it a couple days ago, which is fine. We could use him. But, yeah. And then I added this little observation thing here. These are the observation glass, and then I put a little dome on top. Just something, something to add to it. Now, I already know it don't pressurize. And once I put everything together, realized it wouldn't pressurize, even though everything was nice and tight, when I rebuilt it, I made sure of it. But let's go ahead and go in. Uh, I got an airlock here on my quarters. And I'll give you a little tour of the place here. The airlocks will automatically open. And, of course, we're not getting any air in here. And as you can see, if you click on F, it states structural breach. There is no breach unless I missed something. I don't think I did. But you come in. Everybody's got their quarters. And, of course, the box says GMO. And I did put, I really hate the way we turn, but everybody has a little sleeping pod for their quarters. All right, I'm going to be twisting and turning all the way through this thing. But you come in, there's a main hall here. And this takes us up to the little observation thing with the little glass windows. But you go down here, oh, as long as you can go down, right? It would be this hall here. And you have the three halves. 
This one here is Johnny Five. I'll go all the way over here. That's just the hub. This one here is Kivan. Kivan. I am bad with names. I really apologize for that. There was a lady at our church. Couldn't pronounce her name, and she was really psycho. I used to just call her Flower Lady. She dealt with the flowers. Because if you mispronounced her name, oh man, she went ballistic on you. And this is Guardman. Okay. And he was the only one that didn't get an airlock. I ran out of materials. Uh, the other two have airlocks on theirs. In case they want to go on a spacewalk. And everybody has their own little cryopod here. Take a nap. But they also have a back exit to a hub that leads pretty much to everywhere in the ship. And these were the other airlocks I put in. You can look down and see the planet. Got the hub here to the little rings. And I'm not going into the ring. Every time I get into that ring, you get, it's all confusing. Another little hub. Now this is the engine compartment, I think. Yeah. Because this is the auxiliary module. Oh, we passed the biodomes. We have to go up for that. No, oh, is, is this the ring or the biodome? Oh, this is the ring. That's still the ring. Oh, man, I'm in the ring. Hang on. I gotta get out of the ring. Oh crap, I, I am, am I in the ring? No, I'm out of the ring now because this is a hub. Turn the light on. <laughs> I hate getting into the ring because I get so lost. That's the only bad thing about once you get the ship built. You can get lost really easy and I'm trying to get to the hub. Or to get to the, uh. Biodome. All right, you know what? Oh, game froze. That is an airlock. What is? Yeah, it's an airlock. Well, anyways, I'm not going to even attempt trying to get to the biodome. Biodome is right there. Okay. Never mind. Oh my god, it was right there. And the biodome. Yeah, I didn't stack the biodome up. But what we're going to do is now see what the inevitable is. Uh, go back this way. Where is... Okay, crew quarters. We're through the crew quarters. Um, the heck is this? I'm trying to find the front of the ship. All right, whose crew quarters is this? Guardsman. All right, I know where we're at now. There it is. Okay. This is the flight deck. Yeah. And the only thing we get... Oh. Hang on. 
turn the light off so you can see it better. Come on, give me in the cockpit. Pilot seat, and it just says exit cockpit. It's not giving us anything to do a flight plan or anything. Where some of the videos I watched, they were older videos, a uh, year, two years old. As soon as you got in here, you looked up at like one of the stars or planets out there, it would say plot course, pretty much like it did in story mode. And this is not getting giving us anything except for exit cockpit, which is a bit of a bummer. Hey, uh, Johnny, you got a bug problem. You're going to have to take care of that, buddy. Yeah, you're going to have to get him out of there. Well, that is what I figured was going to happen. Um, when I was playing on experimental mode, uh, so, that's why I was telling you, I was playing about 12 hours on and off yesterday and the day before. And that's why I really haven't put a video up, is I wanted to see what was what. And I went on the Discord, and according to Discord, one person told me that you can only travel to another planet on uh, experimental. So I went to experimental. Where's the planet at? Injuries detected. So I went to experimental and I was non stop. Oh, no, no, no. And I wanted to just get to build the lab, the garage, whatever you want to call it. Uh-oh, I think I just meshed. Please be the ground. Okay, you are. And once I got the lab, I built a Coursera. Because they said you could take the Coursera to other planets, which I've already attempted to try. And we can't do that either. So I decided, well, maybe they were wrong about experimental. And I went back to the regular one, and I went back and forth. I did discover the only way we can actually go from planet to planet. And that is in creative mode. But creative mode is not going to be any fun. Because creative mode, we, we don't do any kind of mining. Or I should say we won't have to do any kind of mining. Anything we want to build, we can just build it. We don't have to have the materials. It's like we go into our build mode here. Everything is lit up. If we want a structure, everything is green, and we have no materials. To me, that's no fun. But I wanted to put this video out, let you guys know. Um, we could go to Xur and see the last world. Uh, it's up to you guys. Let me know. I'm going to take a couple days break, especially after that. 12 hours <laughs> trying to figure out what was what on this in this game um, I did send another message to the developers asking them if they're going to 
put this game back to the way it was to where at least in experimental mode, if we can travel from one world to the next, because Xur is extremely hot. And as a, if we went there as a new player, we're going to continually die until we can get suit upgrades. And we need a printer for that. Because we're going to need a cooling unit. Oh, I didn't upgrade this thing, did I? Yeah, I did. Is a cooling unit in this? Oh, no, it's not here. It's here. We'll need the fabricator. Because we need... It's a cooling unit. Right here. We'll need this. Because it gives us heat protection by 30. Because that planet is super hot. Oh, I thought you guys were getting blood all over my base. But, yeah. Um, like I said, I'll take a couple days off. Let me know if you guys want to see uh, Zur. I mean, it's going to be the same thing as these last two worlds. I mean, we just get in. We do uh, whatever. I mean, it looked like a mix between... You know, for the uh, bugs, a mix between this planet and Proteus 2 because it had the crazies on there and it had these uh, blue guys. And, yeah, they do hit us at least. Because here, they weren't doing no damage. All we had to do was, oops, sandstorm. All we had to do was stand there. They weren't hitting us here. So it does give us a little bit more of a challenge. So I'm down either way. Just let me know in the comments down below. Alrighty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, enjoyed our build. But uh, on Zor, I don't think we're going to bother building a massive space station. Unless we build it just for the heck of it. If we do, we're going to build a really massive uh, uh, hamster run. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's about all it's going to be for. Either that or we'll just build a massive, massive base. I mean, we could do that too. All right, well, this has been fun on this world, but I think we're done with this world now. Hope you guys enjoyed this world. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. And I will catch you guys on the next one, hopefully. This is Gmo signing out for now. Until next time. All righty. Bye-bye.